Kelsey, uh, can you tell us about the investigation into the former President Trump? Um, how many lawyers might have been allocated for that? What kind of budget, what kind of timeline, if any, are you working with? Um, I, I know that that is the hot topic of the day. What I can tell you is that there, there is an active, ongoing investigation. As I have told people, even when you are in a crime crisis, I do not have the right, a district attorney, to look the other way on any crime that may have happened in my jurisdiction. And certainly if someone did something as serious as interfere with people's right to vote, which you know as a woman and a person of color is a sacred right where people lost a lot of lives. We are going to invest in that. But my first priority as district attorney is to make sure that this community is safe. That is why I have pulled the men and women who are standing behind me to focus on that first priority. As far as a timeline, obviously the statute of limitation always gives you a four-year timeline, but we're going to do it until it's done, until I'm comfortable. And should the facts and the law match up to a charge, the community should feel confident that this office will bring charges.